Hey guys and girls, Shardy's back for another update. Um, and yeah, I've got some time on my hands and I've kind of uh, figured out a way I can kind of do these quite quickly. So I'm going to keep hitting you up with some updates. And this one basically is going to be... Um, about the fact of how much I'm feeding my tank and trying to keep these nitrates phosphates at zero zero um, uh, you know I'm just going to show you and tell you what I'm doing I mean this tank is six weeks old so it's not an old tank but um, you know it was started off with all fully mature live rock from my old tank um, and it's probably got more live rock in this tank than you know need be for the volume and um, I also used a product um, that I'm about to show you now, which is Denitrol. Now, I'm not trying to plug this product or anything. I'm just saying what I did to set this tank up and why I believe, um, you know, it's working so far. Um, I think with my, you know, experience, I should, I've, you know, with the way I'm feeling, I think I should be seeing nitrates and phosphates by now. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to tell you what I did and just also state that, uh, all of my progress from the very beginning uh, of this tank is on aquaticlog.com um, under Shardy's holding tank. So I'm just the reason why I'm telling you that is if you really want to look at what I've done and uh, how I've done it, I have not. I have tracked it uh, pretty damn scientifically from the start on Aquatic Log. So it's got everything on there, everything I've done. Um, and uh, so w what I'm saying is I, you know, I'll start with the cycling of the tank and just basically talk about that. Um, there was zero cycling of the tank. Now, this may not come as a surprise to a lot of you, considering that I've used fully mature live rock and um, I also used this product, Denitrol. Um, this, I just followed the instructions to the volume of the water as to how to cycle a tank at the start. Now, I'm unsure whether it was the fact that it's just fully, um, you know, mature live rock or it's this Denitrol as well. I'm just telling you what I did so there can only be one of the two factors there um, you know no water was brought from the other tank over it was all brand new water but just the rock uh, was brought over and I used the Denitrol to start it off what I also did is um, I added pretty much the full um, and I added 800 milliliters of bio pellets at the start um, just got that running and I poured some of the Denitrol that I was supposed to um, you know, uh, I've used in the tank. I poured it into the um, the, the, the actual chamber, uh, the reactor, uh, when I started to try and get those bacteria going all over those bio pellets easily. You know, I think I even left uh, the bio pellets to kind of soak in it for a bit before even turning it on. Um, now, don't ask me why I did that. It's just in my head. I just thought, you know, makes sense. There's bacteria in there. Um, I know that technically it's supposed to be, you know, a nitrifying bacteria that can turn ammonia into nitrite into uh, nitrate um, but you know I don't know what the what this exact bacteria is that lives on these bio pellets but I did that anyway and and so whether that helped or not again I don't know the answer to any of these questions I'm just telling you what I've done and what the results were so you know I did that and I literally never saw any ammonia there wasn't any and there was no nitrites ever um, and uh, that was uh, measured every day over the course of two weeks. Like I say, it's all on aquatic log. You can see everything if you want to know. Um, and basically, you know, I've not seen them uh, since. So um, it's, you know, that's, that was that in effect. And then what I started to do is I, st I started to add all the fish pretty pretty damn quickly really i think i had five in it in the space of a day or two um have a look on aquatic log because i can't remember exactly but you know I, I added all of the fish within the first god it must be month and that's so that's 30 fish into the tank within a month on a brand new tank and then you know i was slowly you can look at my feeding regime but then I, i've now upped it to eight um you know, eight uh, cubes of brine shrimp, frozen shrimp per day, plus a pinch of flake. And then on some days I've got the algae rings going on and some days I'm feeding reef pearls to the corals in the evening. Um, so that's my feeding regime. I've kept it high and I've kept it strong. And my thinking behind that is, you, you know, 
basically you're using that denitrol you're putting bacteria in the system it's like give the bacteria something to to you know uh, populate so i did i gave them lots and lots and lots of food and the idea behind it was i'm keeping the food i i upped it slowly slowly but you know i'm up to where i said now and i keep it there every single day exactly the same that's what i want to feed the tank i might even go more to be honest i'm going to monitor this for a couple of weeks i might start doing reef pills every single night um so you know as in my i am just going to push this okay as far as it can be pushed as soon as i see even 0.2 of a nitrate i will take measures um but i you know this is what i'm going for i'm looking for zero well phosphates are handled by the phosphate reactor media is changed out once a month uh, i do the same with carbon uh, although that's a total other story but um you know this is what I'm doing. Uh, it's been six weeks. With the way I'm feeding, I would have expected to see more nitrates and phosphates. So the only reason, here's another thing that I've not said exactly as well. The other major reason why I believe that this is happening too is I am being religious about my protein skimmer and my filter socks. I'm, I'm cleaning the neck every morning. I do want to get a cell cleaning head soon, but I'm cleaning it every day, the protein skimmer, every morning when I get up. Yeah? Um, I know that's a pain in the ass, very anal and overkill, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just you know, l letting you know. Um, and I'm changing the filter socks every morning. Why not? I'm cleaning the head, pull them out, put some, oops, put some new ones in, and um, you know, that's what I'm doing. So it's almost like the, the organic waste in the tank isn't even getting a chance. It's either that, it's not even getting a chance to, you know, break down, um, or, you know, the bio pellets. But, uh, another factor also is the, this bio pellet reactor, I mean, the pump on it is huge. Uh, you know, it pumps, um, you know, it pumps the, the water really through. You can see they are flying those pellets and it's turning over the tank volume, you know, a lot of times. This, again, this reactor is, is probably five, maybe more in fact, I think, maybe 10, five to 10 times what is recommended for this tank. So I'm killing it on that, you know. Um, so maybe because of that, you know, because of adding all the bacteria, because of doing what I did at the very start, you know, because of the factors that I've talked about, you know, um, this is why I believe I can feed this much and have zero nitrates and phosphates. Now we're going to see, aren't we? You know, uh, <laughs> my aquatic log is monitoring this every day. So, you know, I'm going to keep going. I'm even going to start increasing soon. Um, and I'm going to see how much food you can get away with feeding a 450 litre of, uh, fish tank when having zero nitrates and zero phosphates. So, um, yeah, I hope you like this video. Um, it's a good little experiment that we can all watch together, you and me included. Uh, I, I have to say, I am going to do updates on it. Okay, I can't promise when they'll be and how often they'll be, but I will do updates on it. Um, so, yeah, this concludes this video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you want to see more. This is Shadiel signing out.